So, uh, quick recap, everybody. I am in Arizona. Scott is still in Wisconsin. Um, we I came down early uh, because we had had the um, electrician pick up our first permit, and we thought things were moving, so I just needed to be down here. I thought when I left that Scott would be following me two weeks afterwards. That, as it turned out, has not happened, and he's still not here. This is, I've been down here six weeks, um, trying to make things happen on the land. So, so we bought the land under the impression that we could park the bus on it and stay here uh, when we were tired of traveling, and that was during COVID, and there was so much going on. As it turned out, that turned out not to be true. Um, so through a series of, there's videos on all this, if you go back, through a series of um, finding out things. Anyways, we bought a mobile home and we are trying to get that mobile home right there on that property right there. Okay, to catch you up to date, so after that last permit fiasco with Chris and him losing it, but yeah, all that happened on the day of Halloween, the 31st. So on the first then after all that, Chris sent me, the electrician, he sent me an email um, that he was going to do, you know, like a month before. And it was an introduction to, um, he said, take this, this email as an introduction between me and um, Bo, who was an ex excavator, and um, and that he wanted us to meet, and he would tr uh, let let him know, and he would try to be here too. Well, as it turns out, because it was such a fiasco, you know, I never know how much to tell you guys because this gets so. <laughs> It gets so complicated. It's even when I try to tell Scott what's going on, he has a hard time remembering who is who and what's what's all what. But oh, so yeah. Any rate, it was like a week later that Bo got back to me, and he was like, "Do you still need this done, or what's going on? I'm just getting this now." And um, so I I had said, "Yeah, yeah, I still need it done. Do you want to meet me at the property or whatever else?" And anyways, he ended up phone phoning me. So over the phone, we made this um decision to meet the next day here on the property. He came, um, uh, he, he, his father-in-law works with him and his name is Justin, his father-in-law, his, na his name is Bo, nice guys. And we talked about a lot of different things and he um, said he would get back to me and give me a bid, which he did that same night. Um, I accepted it and I said, let's go, let's get on this. Uh, and he was like, sure. And then, um, the next day we talked again, he said, did you happen to call Blue Stake? Blue Stake out here is the same thing as Digger's Hotline at home. So, and of course, no, I hadn't thought about that. I'm sure we probably had that done once before when we were looking into um, putting the electric up the first time, like around, you know, a couple of years ago, a year and a half ago, whenever it was. Um, at any rate, so we needed to have that done. So... That's actually what I'm doing here now. I came, and Bo also reminded me. Submit. Do you have a, do you have a sign up there? Because he didn't see one. He he found me okay, but um. But you know, I needed to put a sign up there. So he says so that Blue Stake doesn't have any excuses, um, not to be able to you know complete their work. So, he called them for me, which I was thankful for because I wouldn't even know where to start to find that number, and um which he did made and they had told him that um, their completion date was going to be by the end of today which is Friday so they had Thursday and Friday so Wednesday he had called he told me to make sure that you have an address up there I ran around um, made an address sign I came you know in Apache and then uh, ran all the way down here and put the sign up um, added a stake to it and I knew it was supposed to rain so I added some more tape to it and did it in paint rather than marker because I thought it would work and it's on that foam board stuff so it has stayed it worked well enough um, so yeah so that's what we're doing right now is just waiting for blue, blue stake to finish and then um, 
the dirt guy, that Bo, is going to come out and he is going to remove this whole pile of AB that we thought we needed that now we don't need anymore because we are doing a different foundation plan. So this is all just going to get taken and shoved off to the side here just out of the way of the trailer so that they can move that trailer up when the time comes and get it on there. But anyways, uh, Dirt Guy is going to move all this for me. He's going to trench a line from that pole over there for the electric to about that little 4x4 down here. That's where the pedestal is going to go that the electrician, if I ever can get him to do any work, will put. <clears throat> and then this new foundation plan has... Um, these piers, little footings and piers on top of them. Um, <clears throat> nine on one side, nine on the other side, and then on top of those piers, those two I-beams underneath the trailer will sit on them. So he's going to dig the perimeter for the, dig the, dig a trench for that, and then it can be fine-tuned by the concrete guy, who I have also been con in contact with thankfully because of Ricky the mobile home guy that doesn't have any of my money but he has been dealing with me for over two years on this trying to get this going and now that it's close and this is the foundation that we're going to use he doesn't do that kind of work but he has a friend here who has just recently retired his name is Hector Hector um, did come out I met with him um I've not gotten a bid from them at all. I don't know how much this work is going to cost, but at least I have somebody that's interested in doing the work, can do the work, and I think that they understand the urgency to get the work done. Scott's going to leave in exactly a week from today. He should. I mean, that's the plan now. He should have his Tuesday. He gets his um, pin taken out of his toe, and uh, Thursday is um, Thanksgiving, and then they're going to leave Friday. Yeah, that bus is all ready to go. Come on, baby. Drive me down to Arizona. I'm waiting. And it'll probably take him four or five days to get here. So, um, yeah. So by some miracle, I'm still hoping that, you know, <laughs> you never know. Got to hope that, that 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 mobile home could be set here by the time he gets here. Won't be able to be moved into anything, of course, but just that it's, it's set and anchored would be fabulous so we'll see what happens but yeah so in the meantime just kind of hanging out um wait for blue steak to show up and then i can let then i can let um bo know but they're sending him emails i guess after each phase of the uh, there's little markings in the front of the address sign over there so i know at least um probably electric and i don't know whoever else has been here already in the middle of all that stuff that was going on with the land there, on the 4th, Mom and Beth flew in. Mom and Beth are almost here. I uh, have a tracker on my phone. Mom knows where I am all the time, too. So. <laughs> yeah. I see headlights. It's got to be them. Here you are. I see you, Mom. <laughs> oh, and Beth. Hi. Hello. I suppose I could help you. Just a minute, I'm coming.
Oh my god. Oh look at that. She's got the table all set it's up. It's a long day. day. Not too bad. Is that airport ever crazy? Oh, she's got anything. You got your purse, your little purse? You got your big purse? Okay. Boy, yep. we got everything. Oh. Oh, she's got to fix up so cute. <laughs> glad to see us or not? Yes, I am. You're going to handle it? Yes. God, what have you bring all this shit for? Because you're going to be here a long time, Mom. Oh, you've got to fix up so cute. Yeah, the lamp's got to go up in there. Yes. Crap all over the floor again. Yeah. <laughs> well, we had him last year too. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty funny. Yeah, just, uh, oh, just go nice. ahead and I'll take. Go ahead. Here, let go of something. Oh. It's heavy. It's heavy shit, man. I'll show you clips of that. And then I'll show you clips of that, Mom and Beth flying in. And then Esther flew in on the tenth and mom and I went to pick her up too, so that was that was fun. Picking up Esther from the airport. I just dropped off mom. I did the drive around. So now I'm going back in. to pick them up because she texted me already that they were ready. So. Daily parking lot is full. So that's why we didn't park in there. I just dropped mom off. I must be doing some work on this airport. This is a little airport outside of Phoenix and Mesa. Swoop flare. I don't know what that is, but there the Mr. Policeman is why I didn't try and wait right here. Oh there they are, I see them. <laughs> Alright, arriving passengers, I'm gonna get right back here. Okay. Okay, it should be unlocked. It should be unlocked. You guys got that? You old ladies got that? Or you? <laughs> Hi, Esther. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, here, I'm gonna shut this off. There's just so much going on all the time. Oh, and then on the 8th, in the middle of all this stuff that was going on with the land. Mom showed up, Esther showed up, and I got a call from um, Blue Mountain State Park to Camp Host. That's Blue Mountain State Park is in Wisconsin. Camp hosting for next summer already. And because that's, that one's really a good gig. I asked him to send me the camp hosting, um, their guidelines or what they're requiring or what they, what their job duties are. And there's no bathroom cleaning. In that one so it's like that was like super duper cool and they also have a swimming pool of all things you know which of course as a camp host you get to use so I I couldn't not do that um, you know commit to it so yeah we're gonna be there next summer at least for a month and I'm excited about that and because of that I'm sure he contacted um, Abby at the uh, Buckhorn and so she contacted me after I secured with him thinking that maybe I was ready to make some commitments because she she was just she's just so so pleasant very unpleasant work sometimes there but um such a such pleasant people to work with I mean that's for sure so I definitely would have taken that but it's just the bathroom thing that gets to be it's a lot of work you know besides it can be great
I don't know. People can be pigs. At any rate, so I told her no, I wasn't going to make a commitment yet, but I would get back with her after the first of the year. She was very gracious and said, oh, I get that, you know. At any rate, so I think that's all that's going on for right now. Yeah. That's all I know. Quick update while I'm uh, driving back to Mom's. Um, blue steak is done out there at the land. It's good to be too late for the excavator to show up. Um, so I just texted him about 2.30 or so and just said, you know, uh, what's your plans? And I'm, I'm sure it's too late for you to show up now. And um, he did get back to me and just said that if Monday was okay, then he would do that because he had finished up everything he needed to finish up where he was at. So it's very exciting. So I'm sure he wanted to finish that anyways. But so Monday morning, that's all happening. It's really going to happen. <laughs> I've, I'm sure of it this time. So... I will have the camera there and be ready with my checkbook too. That's what I told the guy. Anyways, so um, I let the foundation guys know that um, Tuesday they can start. I just need a bid from them too yet and some confirmation um, that they're actually going to do the work. The concrete guy's actually going to do the work and uh, how much they're going to cost. So things are in the things are in the works. I have the weekend to play dominoes and talk to Scott. He's leaving in exactly a week from today, so that's going to come up quick, too. So exciting, exciting stuff happening anyways. So.